Hey there, friends, it's Pastor Derek, and um, I want to bring you a daily dose of hope today, but I'm going to choose to sit here in front of the baptismal font because um, there's, a, there's a special thing that happens in today's psalm that I, I want to remind you of. It's, it's an older psalm. By older, I mean it's been more familiar within our church context for a long time. There actually was a song that was sung in church that was based on the lyrics of this actual psalm, and it's, Create in me a clean heart, O God and renew a right spirit within me. I grew up in the church uh, all of my life. I don't remember a day in my life when church wasn't a part of who we were as a family. And as we consider what church looks like now, you know, we're, we're wrestling with the idea of when do we go back and, and do we enter into a, a closed setting so that uh, we can be part of the worship service in the building or do we stay home for a while longer? And those are questions that, that you're gonna to have to pray about and wrestle with because no one can tell you um, how to handle those situations. Uh, just know that as you're doing that, I'm, I'm praying for you. But, but as I think about this, this create in me a clean heart, oh God passage, it reminds me of going back to my childhood. And I remember we used to sing this uh, right around the sermon time in the older hymnal, the, the, the 1940-something version of the hymnal, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit uh, within me. It was our way to get ready to hear the sermon. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Uh, we believe, teach, and confess as Lutheran Christians in the world that through the waters of baptism, combined with the power of God's word, uh, something miraculous and mm, mysterious happens in our lives. Uh, we're not transformed into new people. We're still the same human beings, but yet we're different. Uh, we're, I'm the same Derek that I was before I was baptized, but yet I'm different. I'm different because the old part of me is gone. Even being baptized as a baby, something miraculous happens inside the life of that child. And, and as we continue to learn and grow and study and begin to become obedient to God's commands, as it teaches us in Matthew 28, God is creating that new spirit within us. Create in me a new heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. You see, we were created in the image of God. Man, woman, all of us were created in the image of God. There's one, there is one race, and it's the human race. And all of us were created in the image of God, and any attempts to change that image of Godness in us are just wrong. And so we pray that God would create a, a new heart in us and renew our spirit so that we can go back to the realization that while, while we've made some divisions between us, God intends for us to be his children. And just like siblings are going to fight and squabble and quarrel, we too will have our issues. But all in all, we're a family. We're the family of God, united by Christ himself, held together in every joint and ligament by the power of God's spirit. So today's daily dose of hope. Remember the waters of baptism that washed you clean and made you a child of God. Remember the promise found in scripture that calls you an adopted child of God. And remember that God calls us to daily ask for him to create in us a new heart and renew his spirit within us. That's your daily dose of hope. Have a fantastic day and a wonderful weekend, and we'll be talking to you again soon. Be well, my friends.